What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video, as you can see by the title, I am here to do another swatch party, something I've become very involved in um, during this period of no makeup for me and it is going to be with my Menagerie Cosmetics Violet Ink Palette. Now, like I just said and hopefully you guys have heard um, at least in one or two of my videos prior, I am currently not wearing makeup. This should be the last weekend that I don't wear makeup um, because next week I'm doing my actual testing which I am very very excited about. I'm very excited to get back into using my makeup. I have so many different looks, so many different things that I want to do um, with my collection. Not even purchasing more makeup, it's just with my collection. I have so many things I want to do. So so very very excited to get back into it um before i get like really really in depth what is on my lips originally i started off with my abh bitter sweet liquid lipstick um and then i ended up topping it off with this lip gloss lacquer it's called a nyx slip tease it's a lip lacquer um and it's in the shade camel it's like this um it's literally the only color you can see right now because this is a very opaque lip gloss i wanted it a a brown lip gloss you can see it's not really brown it's definitely a very strong warm orange color but I'm okay with the final product anyways if you're interested in seeing the swatches and just kind of hearing what I have to say about this palette without putting it on my eyes then just keep watching okay guys so this is my first mini palette from them they have released one other mini palette and it's a lot more neutral in tone um so this I have now three out of the four palettes that they have released from their brand overall that I know of. Um, between Menagerie Cosmetics and Makeup Monsters. I have three of the four palettes that, like I said, that I know of. Um, they always do this really interesting artwork um, and the person is generally... Um, mentioned on the back so if you're interested that person's name is on the back um it is a pressed pigment micro palette it is vegan and cruelty free um and of course you can get it from their website only they're not sold in any other distributor um there are a lot a lot of ingredients what they did for this palette is they broke it down based on its shade if i'm remembering correctly they don't do that in the other ones but if I'm thinking their other palettes yeah so this is the only palette I believe that is actually called a pressed pigment so I'm assuming a couple of the ingredients aren't FDA approved for eyeshadow use um, which is fine with me I don't care um, at least as of right now I don't care maybe after my testing I will but as of right now I don't care when you open it up you do get a mirror which is pretty nice and then you get this these six shades now I will say these are different than what I thought they were gonna be on the website it just seemed like a really really dark palette um, really dark cool tone purple palette but I love purples I gravitate towards purples a lot um purple was the first eyeshadow color that i actually purchased in general i got like a purple single so for me purples will never i will never have enough purples i love purples um so for me this is a very very pretty palette but not something i was expecting you get two shimmers this one right here which is called three hearts and then you get this one up here which is a dual chromy color i will be swatching in a second then you get four mattes. Um, these two mattes look to be really nice like transition blending out shades and then you get two deeper crease colors as well. Um, for this palette and for any palette that's in this small amount, you're not going to get very many looks out of it. I mean if I really really wanted to I probably could get like three or so looks out of it and I probably will try and do a three looks one palette just to challenge myself but just be prepared to not really be able to get that that many looks if that is something like you need to be able to get a minimum of 10 looks from a palette be prepared to not necessarily be able to do that with this palette um overall these are some interesting and unique shades in my opinion not many palettes have this uh, shade right here this octopi um shade i have a couple of them scattered throughout my collection but not many people would have this type of color it's like um 
a gray toned teal if that makes any sense um and just overall it's a really pretty palette these two colors to me and pan look a little bit more blue than purple which does allow this palette to have a little bit more variety and i get it because going to the cover you definitely have blues and purples in there it would have been nice just being me to have even a yellow i love yellows um but anyways let's get to the swatches like i said there's only six shades i'm gonna just swatch them live for you as always and we will see how they do so i went ahead and swatched the first three shades you have i cannot even read these wow you have mimic which is the like duochrome shade um and i wouldn't even say this is like a duochrome shade it just has it just looked like it was i don't know then you have jellyfish which is like a light purple then you have ink jet which is the darkest shade in this palette and this looks to be more of a really dark navy blue but not like maybe even like an indigo isn't that the color i think that might be like the actual color like an indigo it doesn't look to be to me an actual purple then you have the bottom three shades the first one is called iron grip that sounds like a martial arts character not a character but like a martial arts movie anyways iron grip then you have three hearts which i'm assuming octopus octopi have three hearts who knows and then oh octopi oh yeah it is octopi good lord and that's the more like tealy ish color so those are the three the six shades swatched out as you can see my hand is stained so do expect staining if you have a lighter complexion i never really get staining i don't think i can think of any palette that i've gotten staining but i have seen people who have lighter complexions get staining i know people even got it from their um from their dragon child palette a lot of people were complaining about that i haven't gotten any staining from them um and honestly that's it i just wanted to swatch this um for you i am gonna cut off right now and show you guys more professional swatches more up close swatches so you guys can see i truly can't tell if the mimic shade is a duochrome it kind of looks like it but then it just looks like a purple with like a gray undertone it's a really really unique shade i think out of all the shades in this palette that is the most unique um to my collection and just in general so yeah let me stop talking let's get to the swatches So now that we've done um, the swatches, I just kind of want to give you my overall opinion of this palette. Like I said, I haven't put these singles on my eyes at all. This is purely like a I took it out the box and I wanted to swatch it. But just from feeling it, I did want to make some comparisons as I do with the palettes that I've reviewed from them because I now have three palettes from their collection. I have their very first palette to my recollection and it is their Dragon Child palette. Now this palette, a lot of people complained because it was heavy, but it's like a good heavy. I mean, when we when I bought this, this was in the $49, $50 range um, and it feels like it deserves to be that price. Then the next palette that I purchased was their Whale Song palette. Now, no, no, that wasn't the next palette. Where is it? I lied. So the next palette that I purchased was their Feral palette. And this once again feels heavy, feels substantial, um, and you get all the beautiful shades inside. So I have four out of the five palettes. The next palette I got was the Whale Song palette and now you're starting to get a lighter, compact, a lighter 
palette. Now I do know that they switched manufacturers because they were having problems getting their original manufacturer to actually give them these palettes so I'm assuming that's why the palettes went from being like a heavy duty feel to like a lighter feel depending on who you are depending on how you're using these products you're not going to care because then it makes it easier for you to travel it makes you easier for you to carry it around whatever it may be but I do just want to point this things out um so overall this palette feels more like the same manufacturer in this one and just looking at the two shimmers I would say the same thing I felt about the whale song palette the formula of the mattes are pretty much identical to me being compared to their first two palettes with their old manufacturer but these shimmers are slightly less metallic slightly less foiled than with the old formula so like I said I haven't put these on my eyes and I'm not claiming for this to be a review at all I will be coming back and reviewing this palette for you guys but I did just want to let you know if you have these two and you didn't necessarily like the formulation of the whale song be prepared to know that this mini one it's the violet ink it's going to be the exact same formulation from what I can tell um and the packaging is very very similar it's just a slim um a smaller version and in case you want a size comparison there you go it isn't all that much smaller than the whale song palette but it is smaller um, and if you need another comparison here is my blue moon palette from ColourPop and it's wider than that but it definitely is shorter so it's it's somewhere in between those two comparisons um, that I have there I think that's all I have for you guys um I hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely look forward to my looks with this palette I cannot wait I just wanted to get a video up because I was so jealous seeing so many other people post their first impressions and all that with this palette that I just I had to at least post something so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always y'all it has been real peace